This conference will now be recorded. Hi everyone, welcome to the AWS training. Today's topic is EC2, that is Elastic Compute Cloud. So let's start the class with the agenda. The agenda is AWS CLI, which stands for Command Line Interface. I am role for EC2 instance. Security group for EC2 instance. Volume and snapshots. Creating EC2 instance alarms. And creating AMI, Amazon Machine Images. All these things we will be exploring and we will be doing practically so that you get more uh, details, more idea on that. So if you remember yesterday, we launched one EC2 instance and after logging in into that, we were able to execute basic Linux commands. Like you want to create a directory, you want to create a file, you want to list the file, you want to rename the file, you want to delete a file. All those things we, uh, we tried yesterday. But those were basic Linux commands, not like AWS commands, right? So today, let's talk about AWS CLI. That means you can perform almost everything on AWS through the commands. Till now, what we were doing is, suppose we have to create S3 bucket. So we were going to uh, AWS console and we were creating a bucket from there, right? Even if you want to create an EC2 instance, you want to create an IAM role, you want to attach a policy, you want to delete an IAM role, anything, right? We were doing from console. But each and everything you can even do from command line also. Okay, so let me open my instance first so that we can do the things practically. Let me open my AWS console. So this is my AWS console. I have just logged in using my multi-factor authentication and we'll go to EC2. That's what we need. Okay, let's click on instances. And you can see that. One instance is there which we uh, created yesterday. As in when you are done with your practical stuff, right? It's recommended to stop your instance. So and if you want to do it automatically, like if it's idle for 15 minutes or something, you want to stop it, right? We will talk about that as well. So the very first thing is we will try to log in into this one. So let me check the IP address first because I would need that. Uh, networking. So this is the IP address. Oh, sorry, not this one. This one. One more thing I will tell you is if you stop your instance and if you will start again, it will take another public IP. That means it's not always same. Yesterday, it was having a different uh, IP address and today it's altogether different. So putty we op used for connection yesterday, right? We will do again putty. And this is the uh, instance I said here. I mean, I saved yesterday, but IP address is changed. So I will do this one, okay? And we'll save it again. And now I can open it. Okay. So yesterday we created one key key pair, right? The PPK file. With the help of that PPK file, I'm able to log in into my EC2 instance, as you can see. And my username is EC2 hyphen user. Okay. Now we'll execute AWS CLI commands. So on the PDF, I have given a link. You can see that there is a, a documentation link. So you can click on that and let's try to open it. I think the link is not complete. Something is missing from the link. Just give me a moment why it's not opening. I guess the edge is missing in the start. Edge is missing. Yes, right, right. Anyway, we can, we can, uh, I mean, just search it out. Don't worry. Okay, we'll type. AWS CLI documentation. Yes, you can see the uh, documentation uh, from AWS and documentation from AWS is very detailed and very simple to understand for anything, right? If you are stuck anywhere on any of the AWS service, you simply go to Google and search for the official AWS documentation. If you will read it along with examples and the concept, you will be able to understand what they are talking about. 
so you can uh, come to this page and there is a user guide latest version this one you can open it and you can see now so you can you can read this but just on a high level i am telling you that this is a way to interact with your aws so that you can perform few things and you can uh, let's see left side what are the things here using the aws cli with aws services so what exactly you want to do you want to do something with dynamodb ec2 s3 iem amazon s3 right let's click on that so what different things you can do here uh, let's try this you can see that creating a bucket you can do with the help of aws cli you call you just want to list the bucket just want to see how many buckets and how many objects are there you can even do that delete a bucket delete an object move object copy object and many more things you can do and this is only about s3 you can do many more stuff if i talk about iam rule right so you can do uh let's see this one creating iam user and groups so this is the command aws and iam create group and then you can some group name so it will create a group for you so usually we did this through a console which was much more easier because we don't have to remember these commands and all right but if you want to do it on multiple accounts right it would be easy if you do it through aws cli because you have a set of commands which you have already performed on one aws account and which has successfully executed now you are sure that these commands are perfectly fine syntactically and uh, everything right then if you want to replicate the same stuff on your stage environment or production environment it would be quite easy because if you manually go to every account and then you will open the console and then you will create a group create a im role that would be time consuming and that can be error prone as well you might miss something in one account and you might uh, create some additional stuff in another account so the things may not be in sync but if you will do with the help of commands it would be uh less error prone and definitely in sync so i'm coming back to a uh, uh, pdf we'll talk about few things about cli so you can see that it is in a command line interface it can interact with aws with the help of commands uses permission from iam role associated with ec2 instance this is very important point when i say you can perform anything from the terminal subjected to the permissions allocated to your ec2 instance it's very important if you remember we created one iam role and we gave some access to s3 i think we gave full access to s3 and that iam role is associated with ec2 instance now that means if you execute any aws cli command from this server from this ec2 instance for s3 suppose you want to create bucket list bucket delete bucket something like that that will work but we haven't given any additional permission to our ec2 instance suppose you want to uh, create an iam rule or let's take another example if you want to create a secret manager or you forget about uh, creating you just want to list you just want to list how many ec2 instances are available you can't even do that why because your ec2 instance does not have any permission related to ec2 instance that means any ec2 related operation listing or creating ec2 instance or deleting ec2 instance you can't do that if you want to do you have to update your iam role you have to attach few more policies to the iam role so that the iam role has permissions for ec2 related stuff as well it can do those type of things as well commands are available for all aws services whatever services available here whether it's a code build code pipeline lambda function and secret manager system manager red safe athena each and everything you can do from aws cli provided you have the required permissions and as we discussed it's very handy tool to manage your aws resources across multiple accounts you can see this example i have opened the terminal and i am executing the very first command aws s3 ls 
all AWS uh, CLI commands will start with AWS. After that, the service specific keyword like S3 or EC2 or something like that. In this one, when I'm doing AWS S3 LS, I want to list LS means listing, right? Listing the available buckets. And you can see now, it is displaying the time of creation and the uh, bucket name. My static website nearest and test bucket nearest. Two buckets are available. If you want to list the content of the bucket, basically the objects, if you want to list, right? You can see the next command AWS S3 LS and then provide a complete path of your uh, bucket S3 colon double slash your bucket name. And you can see now it is displaying the, uh, you can say, the files and directories. For files, it's even displaying the creation date, as you can see here license.txt, readme.txt, about.html, index.html, and all that. And these all are right for which the creation date is not displayed. These are directories CSS, IMG, JS, lib, mail, SCSS. 